Hey, good morning, you guys. When I first started out in traditional shaving and I tried out the shavettes and the um, regular straight razors, very hard to find the chevette. I had to basically order one online. Um, the barber supply stores, the closest thing they had is one of these things um, where you basically push out and put half a razor in. And, um, these things are terrible. There's no support on the bottom. Um, razor isn't held very tightly in here. Um, these things are a disaster. Um, I, I wouldn't bother with those things at all. But I went into a barber supply store in my town and they had all sorts of chevettes. They had chevettes with your uh, local team on it. They had chevettes, all different colors, wooden handles, stainless steel handles, aluminum handles, uh, chevettes where you could put full blades in and uh, everything else. So I bought a standard $10 chevette, uh, very similar to my uh, dreadnought uh, chevette and uh, um, the Parker SR chevette. So um, I was going to give it a shot today. Um, I'm using half a rainbow blade. Uh, I like rainbows. They're cheap. Um, they're sharp, but they're fairly comfortable. Um, my favorite blade for using in a Chevette is the Persona Blue. Um, but Persona Blues lately have become a little more expensive. Um, so I'll, I'll get rid of my rainbows before I get more Chevette, uh, Persona Blues. But, let's... Let's have a little shave, shave with my $10 shavette and see what we got. Once again, uh, for people who are just starting out with a Chevette, it's good to stretch your skin up. And do the down pass. Then you let go. And that area underneath your chin here is then done. So you don't have to maneuver around the corner. I wish I knew the name or the company that made this Chevette. There's nothing on it. Um, so I'm calling it $10 Chevette. Gives very good support. Rainbow. Blades are sharp but comfortable.
no pressure. Dominant hand, I'm right handed, dominant hand for the metal. Okay, I'll continue with my shave and then give you some final thoughts. So I recently joined the Facebook site Shavette World for people who are getting into Shavettes or people who are a fan of Shavette shaving. And I've always been asked, why bother? You've got, you've got vintage razors, you've got expensive razors, you've got some of the best razors around, you've got uh, straight razors, injector razors, double edge, single edge. Why bother with the Chevette? Well, this is why. With a little effort and a little time, um, you can't get a better shave for as little money. This is a $10 Chevette. Very cheap razor blades. And I've got a baby bottom smooth shave. Um, can't get a better shave. I didn't feel any irritation, but I'll give it my standard test. The, uh, well, if I can find it here. Uh, oh, here it is. The Dickinson's Witch Hazel with the alcohol in it. I put it on. If there's any irritation, it's going to let me, do I feel anything? Well, I will admit, I feel a little something here, but for the most part... Huh. Well, for the sake of honesty, i got to say there's a little irritation here. I don't know what that is. I didn't feel anything there in the beginning, but for the rest of my face, no irritation. Baby bottom smooth. Um, just a, you can't get a better shave. So I'm going to end the deal now. A little bit of my Stetson. Don't feel anything with the Stetson though, so maybe, who knows what that was there. Beautiful shave, beautiful shave. Um, so, my verdict on the $10 Shavette, very good. Rainbow blades, sharp, good, comfortable. Cheap shaver out.